How you doing, guys? Had a hell of a time getting the uh, the Pete 337 started today. Well, that sucker one was rumbling and grumbling at me. I want to try to get the equipment started right now. Well, that thing was rumbling. I turned that on. That thing, that thing was cranky this morning. That cold start. We're gonna try to get the 140 started and the and the skid steer 590 started. See what we can do today. Everything's froze. It's about 22 degrees outside. <clears throat> 140. That thing looks cold sitting there. It's probably frozen to the ground. <clears throat> See what we got here on the. Try to get some of this job started today. Getting this pull finished. See what we got for the. Skid steer. Lock that sucker and try to get it started. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. This thing's gonna wanna rumble and grumble too. Uh, 22 seconds startup. That's a cold sucker. Have to let the heat generate in the uh, hot box. Get some warm air going into the engine. I'll probably crank it over twice. <clears throat> I'll crank it over and then I'll shut it off and then I'll hit that. The reason I do it this way is because then it gets more hot air into the box. <clears throat> And then what will happen is it'll count down again. I'll count it down twice. That puts some warm air through the engine. And then I'll crank the warm air through the engine. Then I'll heat the box up again. And then I'll put the warm air through the box again. So that'll get that, that'll start it up a little nicer. It'll start easier. Let's see what happens here. It looks, there you go. She'll start. Problem with cranking. The problem with uh, the problem with um, it wasn't too bad. I've had worse. I'm gonna get the 140 started. The problem with um, cycling the boxes too many times, the, the, the hot box and these bobcats, shut that door, is that you can run the battery dead. It takes a lot of amperage to, you know, heat the, heat the coil up. And then if you heat the coil up too many times, it'll draw your battery dead and then you won't be able to start it up. Get some water in the pool, Don't get rid of that metal. Spectre doesn't want any metal in the... Go start this 140 up. What we did um, before we parked the 140, we had put the uh, parked the, the 140 on the uh, the old diving board. This way, it wasn't sunk in the mud, and then we could start it up a lot easier. Um, so, the if it was stu stuck in the mud, and we tried to move the 140, it, it wouldn't move. It would just be stuck in the mud. See what we got here for a cold start. I'm not watching what I'm doing. I'm on the camera here. sucker started right up holy cow wow Honda you got your crap together wow that thing didn't fuss or anything that is the coldest day we started a 140
Wow, that thing is humming like a kitten. Hyundai, I am impressed. Wow. I cannot believe that. If anyone, if you guys are used to starting up, listen to that. If anyone's out there, you know how hard it is to start cold equipment up. Wow, that thing is just humming. We got both equipment started. That was really easy on a 22 degree day. Wow, that was awesome. I cannot believe literally could not believe how easy that start up that was literally cranking for like five seconds not even that was a normal start on a 22 degree day with no smoke coming out wow now there's a little bit of smoke after it warmed up and it just kicked the rpms up wow that 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 thing is purring like a kitten a little bit of smoke because it got warm now but that's to be expected Anyway, both both uh, both pieces of equipment are are uh, getting warm, and man, that's was an impressive an impressive start. All right, we're gonna get our uh, we're gonna get our day started.